Hi everybody. And welcome back to Selvage Knits. I'm Sam. And I'm Kat. And we've missed you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. Yes, I did. I'm also in a really good mood. I haven't seen you in forever. I'm really excited. It's like, I think this might be the first time we've been together since we filmed that episode other than at work. Yeah, that doesn't count as being together. And those together. are just meetings and we're not allowed to actually talk to each other. We actually get yelled at. Sometimes. It's the worst. But that we can't talk to each other, not the meetings. Well, I mean, they're pretty bad too. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> work meetings, no one loves those. Um, so anyways. Hi, did uh, we do that already? I think we did. I think we did do it's that. It's cool, let's keep going. But let's, um, I wanna touch on the knit along and how it's going. I think everyone started before this routine. They did. We all got. Except for me. Really excited, that's true. Because I haven't started yet. Well, you already completed a whole I finished sweat. one, so I'm starting my second yeah. one. So I guess, like, do I get points for that? You get a lot of points for that. I, we're making the rules. Five thousand. So I think I get to, since we're, we can't 5, be eligible 000. for the prizes, I feel like I can make the rules. You get 5,000 points. I have 5,000 points. Mm -hmm. The points mean nothing, but you have 5,000 oh, of them. what's that TV show? Points don't matter. I don't know. <laughs> no, that's going to bother me. Price is right. No, the, the points definitely <laughs> Give me matter some there. Some more information. No, the 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 where uh, Drew Carey, but oh, not the Drew oh, Carey show. Oh, yeah, yeah, You're yeah. Talking yeah. About whose line is it anyway? There you go. The points don't matter, and yeah. something else, and means something else, and the points don't matter. Yes, that one. Do we need to start again? No. Can we keep well, going? Yes. Okay. Five thousand points to me. <laughs> On that note. Yes. Yarn. As you see, I've got it picked out. I know, and I love that it's low contrast. Well, because my last one was that bright purple with the, oh no, it was a very dark, dark purple it's, velvet yes, underground. but with a very bright. With a very, very bright um, rainbow. rainbow truth bomb yes. spin cycle. Mm -hmm. So I have decided to go with a much lower contrast, mm -hmm. doing the magpie fibers in their, their ash colorway. And then the spin cycle yarn is going to be in castaway, which has the grays and the blues and the pops of the bright orange, but still mm -hmm. significantly lower contrast. And I'm well, really, really excited to see Kate how this turns out. Spin Cycle used the castaway, she'd be like the castaway squared. She did yes. castaway, castaway. So I'm excited to see what this looks like because that low contrast was so cool looking. I and love it. A lot of the people in the group have picked some kind of like low contrast options. Yes. There's some, there are so many oh cool gosh. color combinations. Every yes. time one of you pops up and shows a different one, I'm like, oh, I Why wanted didn't to I do, do that, that one. one. Yeah, I should have done that one. Like I cannot wait to see. There are so many cool projects yes. popping up already and really, really I'm excited. So of them. And I'm having a lot of fun like going through Instagram and reposting them and mm -hmm. seeing what everybody's doing and how everybody is. I love just how much everybody helps each other out when everybody has a question mm -hmm. and the motive, like the support and motivation behind the knit along is so much fun. So I'm chugging along on mine. I have gotten down to after I split the sleeves. And see, I love your color sleeves. combos. I like this color combo. And I, you know, I've got to say with again, this pattern again, the, the colors sitting next to each other look one way, but then when you see them mm -hmm. in this pattern, they just do a different thing. Yes. And again, you know, as we always say with Spin Cycle, just watching the color shift is such a neat thing. And it helps to keep you really engaged mm -hmm. in it. Because, you know, you're like, oh, I can't wait to see what that's going to look like and what that's going to look like. And it's already started to, like, change right here at the base and the bottom. So I'm going to be able to see that go into some more green tones. And I'm just really excited about it. And also, um, so for the bobbles, I don't know if everybody saw, but there was somebody um, in the um, Ravelry Knitting Group which I will put up her name right here. I am drawing a blank right now. But she had done um, a swatch with different number of stitches for the crochet bobble. And I like bobbles. I got really like, excited when I saw her as I was her post. So she did a post where she did, um, I think it was with three, a, a bobble with three wraps, a mm -hmm. bobble with five wraps, and a bobble with seven wraps. And she did one that was not a bobble. It was right. just a, a single pearl stitch too. Yes. So she could compare the different ways it would look um, yeah. in a swatch. And so that a lot of people, and she posted it to share with the group. So everyone kind of look and see, oh, there's different ways to do this. Yeah. And I wouldn't have, I don't know why, but I wouldn't have thought of it without her posting that because I do really like bobbles, but sometimes I feel like they could be a little too big or maybe the way that I crochet because I'm not a crocheter that mine just come out bigger than intended. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to play with it and I figured out that I liked the one with the five wraps as opposed to the seven wraps, which is what Andrea's pattern calls for. So that's the size bobble that I've been doing and I'm really happy with this size bobble. There's still 
they're, you know, they're still the crochet bobble. They're still the perky little bobbles. You can still see them coming up off of the fabric there. But um, I was so happy that she, that she shared that with us. Thank you so much. So um, that's where I'm at. I'm chugging along. I got, what's the back? Is it chugging or plugging? Plugging along, chugging along like a steamboat. I don't know. Or a steam engine. I don't know. That wasn't me. Could you do both? Chug, chug along or chug along? Chugging and plugging. I don't know. Comment Wait, below. Is that a math? <laughs> plug and chug? Plug and chug is a math. That's thing. a math thing. Plug maybe that's chug. what I'm thinking of. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just <laughs> rude in correcting your speech. She's really good at English, so it's fine. I'm, I'm a well at Don't say that because I could be completely no, wrong. No, just whenever I have a question, I come to you. So, I am very, very excited. I don't know how, do you know how many, because you've done this before, how many pattern repeats is it to the bottom for my link? I'm really I'm bad. expecting that you've memorized the entire pattern. <laughs> I have not. Okay. Memorize the pattern. I'm just literally expecting that you have memorized it and can tell me exactly how much further I need to go. I was just hoping that I was done. Am I done? Yeah. <laughs> totally. Just find right. off. Right there. It'll cover. Will it? Right? I mean, will it? No, but I'm actually enjoying it. And again, watching the spin cycle go helps keep you motivated. So Great. people are already done. They are so fast. Yeah, some some people are quite fast. How do you all do it? I don't know. I want to know what the secrets are. It's probably Libra knitting, like Stephanie Pearl McPhee. Or something else. They're more focused. <laughs> I think it might be that. <laughs> more focused. <laughs> Um, so I'm really excited. Again, we're going to do the meetup on the hill with Andrea, the spin cycle girls, Damie and us. We'll all be there. And um, we can't wait to see oh what you're working gosh, on. I'm so excited. I'm also excited for apple cider donuts. I didn't get to get one last time. The line was too long. It's going to be long again, but I'm going to plan for it this time. I want an apple cider donut. I'll get you one. Thank you. I appreciate that. Don't forget <laughs> to, um, Keep us posted and showing us what you're doing. Uh, I love that everybody is, um, has been tagging us and using the hashtag Stonecrop Knit Along. So I've been able to follow along and see what everyone's doing and all those beautiful color combos. So keep doing that. And we will be announcing those prizes at Rhinebeck. Very and they're really good. They're re you want all of them. I want all of them. I want all of them. You have 5,000 points. That's what you get. That's all I get. We don't get to play. <laughs> <laughs> but we did get to knit this beautiful pattern. Yes. I'm very excited about it. It makes us all so, winners. It makes us all winners. Because we all get to knit. I feel like Mr. Rogers right I'm now. I'm tangled up in yarn right now. Currently. It's okay. It's a good way to be. There you go. Saved myself. Next up. It's a kind of like a please take our money slash giveaway. It's that. Or as you were calling it, please take our money 2.0. Or please take our money again. Again. All the time. Here's my wallet. You just take it. So, okay. We talked to you before yes. about hide and hammer bags. Oh, man. And I really can't get enough of her bags. I'm a lot obsessed. Yes. Can anyone get enough? I don't think that's a thing that happens. Her bags are great. They are. They're She's so got her amazing. really great leather stuff that she, mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what she started with was making like leather bags. Right. You have like that one of a kind. I do. I have, her. I got a leather bag from her that, that it's not, I don't really use it for knitting. I use it more as a purse and I really, really like it for like fancy it's going out. It's absolutely fabulous. I love it. But she, um, recently released mm -hmm. a new style of bag and we were lucky enough. We're lucky enough to get our hands on some. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, Sorry, you show it like this, like okay. how it comes. So it's off. the number four because she numbers her bag. She, yes. The one we showed you guys the last time was the number three, which is her roll top sort of like lunch sack bag. Yes. This one is the number four and it folds completely flat. Oh my gosh, what? So you've got. Stop it. And it comes in lots of colors. Yes. My favorite is the mustard. Mm -hmm. And it's got, of course, the awesome leather hardware. You've got. Yes. It's a, it's the, it's very similar to all the hardware and all of her other bags, so they all kind of like match and go together. But it's got yes. this really cool feature. Yes. So we'll show the buttons. It's got these little snaps yeah. on either end that you can snap together. You snap them together, you push it down, and now you got a bucket bag. What? You can't. Crazy. 
I can't get out of it. And, and it stores huge. completely flat. It stores completely oh flat. Gosh, it's huge. Here, I'll unroll the whole thing because you can fit. Basically, the whole point is that you can fit any size thing because it rolls down so you can make the bag really small. Or if you're knitting a sweater, it's as tall as cat sitting down. She can put her whole head in that bag. There's still There's room. a lot of room. There's a lot of room. Yeah, it is. It's big. It's so big. I can't even handle it. And I love I that you can. My head. You did. I did. But you can also do the same thing like with the other ones where you can roll it down and you can um, attach it that way. But um, I love using it as like a big giant bucket. So I had mine rolled down like this. I've been using it so much. Carrying it around the house. See, I kind of love the sort of. I love this. I, I also like the kind of like envelopiness of doing it flat too, which I don't know if that was necessarily how it was meant to be. Yeah, but you can use but it But if you're doing, you can also use it that way. You can do sort of that like flat envelope -y thing. And you know me, I always like to do things maybe a little different. But it's really nice to just like, I like can carry it around. I can throw it up on my end tables mm -hmm. when, you know, and knit right out of it. It's so great. And then you can still just immediately, like I just show them together and clip it to go and to keep my one year old out of it. And as always, her leather hardware is detachable. Genius. So that you can wash your bag. Because let's be honest, we're dirty. Well, people are dirty. They, they've done studies and the bottoms of bags are like the dirtiest thing. They're bottoms gross. of like women's purses and Super stuff like gross. that. And I can, yes. my That's knitting goes everywhere. Exactly. So, um, so absolutely. These are so neat. I absolutely love it. I'm, you definitely want one. Check out her number four. Yes. And, and she sent us something fun for you guys. Yes. She sent us. Which I'm jealous of. Now I need to go. One of her leather project bags. And this is her small sock size. And I, I love her leather work. And they've got the beautiful hide and hammer tag in there for you. And it's got, it's, it's just a really nice, it's a really bag. nice leather her bag. Her work is really Her good. work is so good. It's got the little key fob in here. So cute. And it's got a little little pocket. And we are gonna give this guy away to one lucky winner. Yes. Um, so so what we decided is um we will if you will we'll put some a message up on Instagram as well to talk about the giveaway. So if you just follow Hide and Hammer, because she's awesome. You should be following her anyway. You should be following her anyway. So follow Hide and Hammer, make sure you're following us, and then in your stories, post what project you would use if you win this bag, what project you would put in there. Doesn't and have to be a project. Could be something weird. Yeah. You whatever you what would, would you what would put, you put in, this, in bag? this bag. That's all we want to know. And put and, in your stories and tag us. And we will pick we'll, a winner. We'll pick a winner. So good luck. Can the winner be me? Do I get points? No. Can I have points? You get points. Five thousand <laughs> points to you. <laughs> We're tied. <laughs> For now. <laughs> <laughs> She's very good at it. I am. So, go so out. that is yes. Sorry, I cut. I you cut off. you off, <laughs> and then we cut each other off. But I'm really glad you both stopped. We're gonna let the other one go. I respect you. That was really nice. <laughs> uh, Who yes, was talking. Go. I'm gonna talk first because you were finishing it. So definitely go follow Hide and Hammer. Check out all of her bags. Her work is amazing, and you definitely want one of them. They're very, very, very functional. What were you saying? You forgot. <laughs> I did. And it's gone. Could have um, been that important. So I'm really excited about the next part because we kind of kept it a secret from each other. And it's really not that big of a deal, but I'm very excited about it. I completely forgot what we were talking about for a little bit there. <laughs> but I'm I really remember it. Yes. I've, I've got it together. So now. Kat and I were talking and about trying to make plans for your knitting and how easy it is to be like, have that whole FOMO where you're like, oh my gosh, but I have to make that. Oh my gosh, but I have to make that. Oh my gosh, another new pattern. I have to make that one right now because that's what everyone's making. Crazy long your queue can get because, and then you never get to things that you had that like you really wanted to make it. Well, and uh, knitting can so quickly get into that not really sustainable, not really economical, and not really functional yeah. craft. We, I feel like sometimes, and well, again, I found a good way, like I make a lot of samples for other people, right? which helps to reduce what I'm making that I'm not using. Right. Um, it, it can become very, it's the same 
same way with buying. You see stuff and you're like, that's really, really such a cool it's new so now. thing. That's it's what's so really now. Cool. It's really on trend. But is it something that is going to last in your wardrobe and really be a staple? And exactly. That, that even after you like make it because it looked super cute on all these other people that you put on, you're like, I don't know, that's not really me. Exactly. That was that person and it looks really great. And it's not that it's not a good piece, but is it really me? Does it really fit my style? Right. And so we were talking about that. And so we talked to each other and we were like, let's come up with an idea of five pieces that we feel like each. Did you come up with more? Maybe. Dang it. Five to six or seven pieces that we felt would really match who we are as people and that they would be things that we would actually wear and that we have yarn for most of them. Well, and also not just such a big stash. It was, it was awesome to go stash diving and kind of come up with a plan moving into the, you know, the knitting season, so to speak, because we've both been doing like a lot of summer knits and a lot of test knits and a lot of things this summer. But now as we're moving into the, the, you know, the, the cooler months, I'm sitting here thinking like, what do I actually need? Because right. I, I can't or tell you to actually wear. how many times I've gotten dressed going, man, it, I could totally go for it. If I had this sweater in my closet I right now, it. I would wear that mm-hmm. one, but I don't. Yes. Um, so I so, think it's a really good idea to actually come up with that plan and go look at the yarn you have and take that time. Because sometimes like you're also going through and you're like, I forgot I had this yarn. I have a sweater's quantity of this. What could I make with this that's been in my favorites or in my queue? Is something that is this something I would actually wear? Like, I feel like asking yourself a lot of those questions before being like, yes, and kind of deciding on those things. We tried to narrow it down to five-ish um, things that we would make, although she's a fast reader, so she'll probably get all that done. I was like, five knits, and some of them are Aaron weight, so maybe I can get those done in a fall slash winter season. So, all right. Let us begin. I'm gonna go with my first one. Okay, go for it. So my. Do you want to go through one, all of yours, or do we want to go back and forth? I feel like we're going back and forth. Okay. What do you think? No, go through your whole list. Okay. Let's talk about how it fits you. Okay. So uh, my first one is one that's been in my queue and my favorites for such a long time, and it's the balloon sweater. Oh yeah. By Petite Knit. So um, she has the balloon sweater and the balloon cardigan as well, and so I'm trying to think. I want both of them eventually. I don't know which one I'm going to make first, but we'll put a picture up here of what it is. It's a very simple, basic sweater that I think, while it does have some things that make it very, you know, you might want to say on trend right now, it, because it has those big baggy sleeves, but I think that it is something that is sustainable and that will stay in style for a, for many seasons and is something that based on, you know, whatever colors you pick, that would be really easy to blend into my wardrobe. So um, I would like to make both of them, but I think I'm going to start with the pullover because I wear more pullovers than I do. You're not a button gal. I'm not so much a button gal, but I really do like the, the, the big buttons and there's only a few of them. I think on the balloon cardigan, there's only four buttons and they're four very big statement buttons as opposed to little buttons. I'm weird when it comes she's to buttons. She's so weird about buttons. And it's like a... And She'll turn down a whole pattern. She'll be like, nope, I don't like the buttons. You and can I, change the buttons. I know. I have <laughs> a button problem. You do. I know. And maybe someone just needs to show me how to do buttons right. I don't know. I just have a thing about buttons. But it has four big ones. And so I, I think that it'll be okay. All right. So that's my first one. First one. And I next. definitely have yarn that can go with that. It's, for both of those. I just talked on you again. I was rushing you again. I'm sorry. You are okay. So then my second one is the Thai, I believe is how it's pronounced. It's T-Y-G-H. It is a Christina Dene pattern that is coming out in the book that she's releasing. Oh. Yes, Heritage Knits. It's going to be available on Amazon. So um, I like to have like coffee table knitting books. So I will definitively be purchasing it because I also love Christina Dene's patterns. So I will definitely be buying it. But as soon as I saw this pattern, which we'll put up, it's beautiful. I wonder if it's the one that I favorited as well. Probably. It's the one where the girl's like sitting in the kitchen and it's got the design at the bottom. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm planning, what yarn I'm planning on using, Magpie just announced that they're releasing a new yarn base and their yarn base is called Nest and it's a non-superwash. And there's a few different um, color like tones that they're doing. So, um, I was able to, when I was at Magpie, get like a little sample of four different, of just in the neutral bases that they have, 
Look at how soft it is. When people say like non-superwash, immediately you think like crunchy, farmy. It is so ridiculously soft. So I'm really excited to knit with this. What I really want to do, I think, is like do some um, in a plain neutral because I'm me. What? Uh, well, and also because I want it to be a staple that I can wear with a lot of, with, with anything is I'll do the actual name color in a plain color and then I'll do the color work in a marl. Neat. Yeah. So that's my plan. I don't know which color I'm going to do because she has so many awesome colors on this marl that she's doing. So that's my second one. Okay. I'm very excited about it. And I'm excited about it. Isn't it so soft? It's so soft. Yeah. Would you're not like expecting it to be mm -mm. that soft. Not for can... a non-super wash. Oh my gosh. I love it. So that's my second one. My third one is the Fog Cardigan by Alina Schneider. And um, that one was just released. That one was pretty, pretty recent. And it's a, it's. Like just this week. It's, like a, it's not a big, I want to call it a basic cardigan. But it well, has, I'm, I'm just going to jump in because I also have the fog cardigan on my list. Yes, you do. It's really good. It's such a staple sweater. Yes, exactly. I think it's a really good staple sweater. Well, and that's like for me, it, it's it's like a big bulky. It's it's air and weight. Air and weight. So you can get through that quick. Especially coming off of making anything with fingering weight yarn or lace weight yarn. And you get to go move in with those bigger size needles and everything. There's nothing like it. So, but it's also really, really cute. Yeah, it's got sort of like that grandpa shawl collar. Yes, but I still, really like that. in a way that it's, it, it, it's very wearable. It's very much a lasting staple piece. Yeah, and I think that it can be worn with a lot. I think you can style it to match any of your, the the varying styles out there. Like you know, you can. It can be dressed up. It can be dressed down. I think that it's really an easy one to that'll mold to whoever the person Absolutely. is. Absolutely. So I'm excited about that. One. And then my last one, hands down, I'm going to pronounce this thing correctly. So if somebody can correct me, um, go ahead. It's Jujisi Mitts and Hats. It's by the designer um, Bernice Lim. And um, her Instagram handle is Yamagara. And I'll put that right here. These, this mitt, uh, these mitts, and she also has a hat that matches. They're a fingerless mitt. You know, I don't usually love to do things that come in pairs. I know that you have like a phobia of things that come in pairs. I do. <laughs> um, but I, I saw these and I just thought that the color work on these were so interesting. And I love that there's a matching hat, but it wasn't like, it's not like so matchy matchy, but they definitely complement each other. And I really, really love them. And I was like, I have all of these like staple pieces for a wardrobe, but you know, I was trying to also look at shawls and I didn't get any of my shawls on there. I definitely have some stuff still in my queue, but um, I was like, I need like mitts and a hat, like a go-to mitts and hat. So that is my number five one. Excellent. Yes. I'm very excited and motivated. And there's something really cool about making a plan and like setting out, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And yes. this is why it's going to match these things. Yes. Ever since we decided to do this, I've been kind of sitting there thinking, it's like, oh, I want to get onto my list. Yes. Because I, I, I really am excited about how they're going to be incorporated with my wardrobe. I also love checking off a list. There's that too. Being productive is the best. It is. Okay. I'm excited to listen to what you're making. So. Okay. Oh, sorry. I just not going to do that. I, I did say. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, I did say I was looking at the fog cardigan and actually cardigans are sort of what my. What are you going to do? The fog cardigan I want to do in. A jewel tone? Nest. Oh. I want to try out the nest. Yes. To do the fog cardigan. That's a really good idea as well. I don't know the colors yet for that one, but that is on my list. That's awesome. The other sweaters that I've been um, looking at, like. I have been wearing a lot of, you know, last time when we talked, I've been wearing a lot of high-waisted sweat or skirts. Yes. So I kind of wanted a high-waisted cardigan Ooh, to wear with them because yeah. I've been wearing them with tank tops and now coming into the fall times, I'm realizing mm. I've got all these graphic tees that I'm wearing with big high-waisted skirts and it would be really cool to have a very, you know, yeah, cropped cardigan yeah, to wear. Yeah, you don't want to ruin that look. Yeah. That's what you're going for. So um, Karina Spencer has the minimal minimalist cable cardigan. Ooh. which is actually a really long cardigan, but she released a cropped version that is just really, really cute. I don't think I've seen that. I love it. I'm going to look at the picture with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's funny because when you look at it on 
the actual Ravelry site, the picture is of the full length cardigan. So you have to actually okay. go looking on Instagram to see it in its cropped oh, glory. Oh, okay. And I mean, she may have added the pictures down Maybe low, but when you find page. the actual pattern, it's okay. the longer pattern. Okay. Um, That's awesome. But it's really, really cute. And I want to do it actually in black. <laughs> go figure. See, but when you're making stable pieces, but it's, exactly. it's a good idea. I want, to, I want it in black so that I have that stable Sustainable. piece. Sustainable. Yes. Um, and then the other, so I've got that, that cardigan, the fog cardigan, and then I also want to make Andrea Mallory's Ronin cardigan. You've been wanting I've to I've been make wanting that. to make that forever. You need to do that one first. I have so much black in my wardrobe that I did want to have some more jewel tone. Yes. I, I mean, you know, the little black um, crop cardi that I would have, and then um, the Ronin, which is, you know, bigger and baggier. I'm going to be doing that in... Uh, Brooklyn yes. Tweed, and that's sort of a, I can't really see how green that is. It's like a nice olive -y. I you can see that. I've had that yarn for a while, and I bought it for the Ronin, and I meant to have it, and I wanted to have it. You should make that the first one, and you I think that's going to be my first. you have been talking about making that and wanting that cardigan for a long time. And I just can't wait to, like, throw it on over, you know. I really do love the shelter. I'm really excited that's about good. that. So that's awesome. I like that one. I've got three cardigans that I want to make. Okay. Um, and then I also wanted to make some shawls and I have found with all the shawl making that I've done that I have kind of focused in on what I really, really like. Okay. I like, you know, the half pie sort of crescent shape. Right. I like the asymmetrical shawls. I'm not as, I, I like, I do love my, um, night shift, my night shift, which is asymmetrical, but right. there are limitations to what you can do with an asymmetrical shawl, especially some of the really like, I get confused and don't know how to wear them. They are I mean. difficult, and I prefer sort of a something I can wrap up in. And mm -hmm. again, with what I've been wearing recently, I really have been finding that my uh, crescent cardigans and my bigger cardigans that I can kind of wrap shawls. up in shawls. Sorry, hey, you corrected me earlier. That's fine. <laughs> uh, you were, yeah. <laughs> so, yes. so my, my the um the shawls that I can wrap up in, yeah. I find to be a better match for me. Absolutely. So, um, I actually want to make the saturate shawl. Did you see that one when it's it came out? Fringe. I love that one. By uh, Mara Catherine Briner. Yep. I'm not sure if I'm saying her last name right. But, but orange. Orange knits. Orange knits. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, that's what it is. Orange knits. We'll put her name up and everything right here. Um, and I love this shawl since before it was released. When they, she first teased it. That fringe. That fringe magical. drives me crazy. I love it. Because the picture, the original picture, if I remember correctly, it's the really rich blue and orange. And then it goes all the way down to the white. Yes, yes, that's right. And I will post up a picture here of the yes. color, the, the fade of yarn that I have been holding on to forever for you this You got pattern. that forever ago. I did. And I want to make it. And I like that shape. I know it's going to work for me. And I have the yarn and it is good to go. Yes. <coughs> on the list. And um, one of the things that I've been meaning to tackle for a while <laughs> is a pair of mitts. A pair. We can do it. We can have a mid along. A mid along. <gasps> mid along. You guys are joining us. We're gonna have a mid along. We're gonna mid along. And this December. And it's color work. I said, a color. I know. Mid -along. I'm trying to get past my knit of shame. What are you doing? The underwing mitts. <gasps> which yes. you know, I know it's a pretty popular pattern. I have a hat in um, strange brew colorway, which is sort of like a off greeny yellowy color. Which one? The shade grove. Yes. Yes. And I just wanted a pair of mitts that are gonna, I'm probably gonna do it in that same strange brew colorway with like a black. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do for I the actual like that. color, but that's gonna be. That's what I'm awesome. Doing with that. We're gonna have a mid along. We're gonna have a mid along. I'm excited. And then last but not least, I just finished a, uh, doing another um, test knit for Jessie May. I did oh, her, yeah. um, her new framework bralette. Yes, and gorgeous. It is so cool. I mean, I've never like, you know, I I haven't knit any bras, and I know people are like up in arms about them, and just hasn't been something for whatever reason, just hasn't like caught my fancy until I saw that one. And I was like, oh, I have to make one. Well, I made the bralette, and I made it in Magpie's um, Solstice. How have I not seen this? <laughs> well, and it's it's it, what? The Solstice is like a squishy cotton. It's my favorite yarn blend, and it's so soft and so it's. If I had wait, to pick cotton. one yarn to knit with for the rest of my life. It would be solstice. It would be solstice. It's cotton, wool, and uh, silk? silk. Cotton, wool, silk blend. And it is so soft and yes. so fun to wear, but it's also Pretty got cool. like a slubby coolness to it. Yes. So 
I finished the bralette and I was like, you know what could go really well with this? A pair of shorts. Ooh. So I, I'm going to make a little sleep set out of, um, I have the bralette. Yeah. And I'm going to make a Christina Denae has a little pair of romper <gasps> shorts. Yeah. That she made using that same yarn. So I'm going to make that. And I'm going to, I might tailor idea. it a little bit so that the, um, the ribbing and everything is, you know, similar so that they kind yeah, of fit together. Yeah, that makes sense. Absolutely. But I'm going to, I'm going to have That's me a, really cool. I'm going to have me a sleep set. Yes. I love that. And that is my, uh. I might have to steal that one. No, stop. No FOMO. I have my own list. That's my but list. But you have more than five. It's one, four. two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can I took, add. I took one of them off. Oh, okay. Six. I can add one. I can also do those, but then I died too because I have to do shorts and bra. I'll do that next summer. That's my plan for this fall, and you know, fall, winter, fall and winter. <laughs> yes. And I'm you know, sure at some point I'm gonna get them. I know that everyone does like the make nine and all that kind of stuff, and there is always a cool pattern that comes out. And so I'm not gonna be too hard on myself if I do. And that's deviate. the important part. We're but, setting goals and we're going to do what we can, but we'll be gentle with ourselves. Yes, always. Be I'm gentle with yourself too. I'm beat myself up. Yes, absolutely. That's and very important. Share with us, what are you guys planning on making this Yes, month? absolutely. I mm -hmm. want to know. What is the pattern that you've been dying to make? What's that one that's been in your queue for so long that just keeps hanging out there because you keep finding cooler and cooler stuff, but you're like, I really want to go make that. And what yarn are you using? Because I can always look at yarn pictures. Always. So... I think that's it for us. That is. So don't forget, join us in the knit along. Yes. Meet us up at Rhinebeck if you're coming. Absolutely. And still post all of your pictures on Instagram, hashtag, all of that jazz. Don't forget the giveaway. What are you going to put in that bag? What would you put in there? Show us. I want to know. And tell us what you want to make. Yes, absolutely. We're so asking a lot of you guys. We asked, you have a lot of homework. We're back in school. That's what happens. Yeah. So, yes, that's it for us, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Jazz hands. Welcome to Salvage Knits. I don't know. I went there. <laughs> I wasn't jazz handsing. I was just Twilight Zone. <laughs> staying there. Very Bob Fosse. Okay. Did you see they're having a new Judy Garland movie? You sound like you said Judy Garland. <laughs> Maybe I did. <laughs> Judy Garland. Okay, ready? Ready, and I have a new partner for Salvage Knits. Oh, look, I'm back. <laughs> oh, it's Kat. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Salvage Knits. Oh, you look like you got kidnapped, like you did in that car with me and Hannah that one time. Remember the picture? <laughs> me and Hannah are like in the front seat, and you're in the back, and you're like this. <laughs> Can we post that picture right yeah, now? Let's share that picture. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, no, you look like you were kidnapped against your will. It was just bad timing of you the camera. You were having fun. <laughs> your face. You're going to go dance under a full moon on Friday the 13th, but there's bears in your yard, you idiot. <laughs> no, it's not. I just wanted to see it. You're allowed to want to see You've seen a full moon before. I wanted to see the Friday the 13th full harvest moon. It's a harvest moon, Sam. An actual harvest moon, not a liar's harvest moon. <laughs> okay. There's bears in your yard. Do not be going out looking like a snack. <laughs> and I mean that literally and figuratively because there are bears. There are bears. Big ones. Black bears. I know. I feel the same I way. Talk to you a lot, I talked to you a lot, I just haven't seen you in a long time. Oh, man. <laughs> that also stabbed me in the head. <laughs> I think I'm bleeding. You're not. Okay. We gotta get through this. It's gonna be a short one. Let's just go. You keep saying okay. that, but I don't believe it's you. It's because we're doing. Okay. Am I acting like a weirdo right now? <laughs> I think we both are. Can we watch that? Yeah, I'm really concerned. <laughs>